We're up here in Fullerton with a package. We're going to do an opening here. This is from a guy named Michael and his son in Ireland. A while back I stumbled across his channel. I'll put a link to it down below. And his channel is himself taking his kid back to the places he went when he was young and pointing out the exact places where something happened um, to put him in the position where he is now and uh, what he did growing up. That's why I brought this here to open this. This lake is pretty much where I grew up. Uh, this lake closes at sundown, but we used to hop the fence. We'd hide in the bushes across the street over there, hop the fence, and spend the night in here. We'd have little fires hidden back here, and I got a little fire going down here, and a Swiss stove making some coffee, some hot chocolate. But, I mean, the stuff that we used to do here is incredible. We'd sneak in rafts. We'd take rafts out. we set trot lines. It's amazing. But that's getting off the subject. <laughs> Back to the subject. The guy, Michael, that um, has this, was teaching his kid this, and that's what drew my attention. So I sent him and his son some uh, multi-tools, and he sent my daughter and I this. We're going to open this now. Go ahead and open it up. Anyway, hey, Alan, sorry this is taking so long for us to send, but things have been mad here. We hope you enjoy the enclosed gifts. The Mora is for you. A Mora is in there. Um, selection of flies. I got the luminous orange Mora clip res. You seem to do a lot of your cooking, setting up after dark. Drop this. Won't be easily lost. The flies are hand tied around my fishing kit. Yeah, Thought you could put them to use. Have better luck with them than us. I also sent you a few other things. Taylor and myself, these must be scouting activities. Again, thanks for your gifts, sharing your videos. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Michael and Taylor. Please check out Taylor's channel. So I'll put a link to Taylor's channel too. In the one video I sent him this, he uh, took the stuff in to Taylor in his room and Taylor was dressed like uh, Hugh Hefner. <laughs> I've had a cough for a while, so. Taylor's char cloth. Okay, he made us some char cloth, that's cool. Collins Jim. I had this exact same one, but the big one, and I sent this to uh, Uncool Girl. I, I'm not sure her channel, but I'll put a link to her channel underneath also. A girl named Allison, a young girl who started her own channel. She's got some nice stuff. Yeah. Fire starter. I could have used this for this. We scrounged around here checking our trunks and everything for some matches. Ended up bumming them off some guy. These are the flies they sent us. Oh, and the more. Yeah, that'll show up real easy if I drop it or something. Okay. Royal Mail. All the way from Ireland. Let's see, pull it out. Actually, the first Mora knife I've owned. Well, thank you very much, Michael and Taylor. I'll put a link to your channels down below. Let's see these flies. The old familiar hairs here. These work worldwide anywhere. Montana. Some trout flies for some bigger, some bigger trout. We going up north this this uh, winter and spring. These should come in handy up there. But as for the rest of these, the rest of these will work down down here. I myself just went to Bob Marriott. Spent $25 on that. <laughs> Swiss Volcano. What do you say? Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. You're growing up. This is the first lake, one of the first lakes my dad brought me to.
had one of those little spin caster rods, push the button and take off. And uh, right in this area, right here is where he taught me to cast. This cement wasn't here, it was a regular bank. This lake's been overhauled twice since then. That would put me back, way back in like 70, 71, 1970, 1971, something like that. I learned to fish right here. And then uh, way over there by those reeds, there used to be an old guy that came here. He was like 85 years old when I was a teenager. He was like 85 years old. He's probably passed on since then. But he's the one who taught me to fly fish. And I caught my first bluegill right off of those reeds with a red fly. Right off the uh, end of those reeds with a red fly. And uh, I was hooked. I was. We just happened to be here at this right time. Look at this. Look at all the, look at, see the trout going in there. Stocking the trout. Yeah, I'd go get your poles, you guys. Yeah. Now you can really see the trout. Look at that. I'm gonna go get me some. Massive bass just took off. There he goes. Walking around here, you can see the trout darting out. Look at massive, massive trout. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that, see him? Look at that trout. Let's see if I can catch him right down there. Fishing gonna catch one more. Once he catches one more, we've maxed out, we've caught our limit. Ruben, his niece, uh, my daughter Jeannie, my nephew Robert. Robert's not fishing, myself. 20, it's 19 in here I believe, unless we miscounted. I usually catch and release, but since these are stalkers, if we don't catch them, somebody else will. And if nobody else does, there's these birds around here, they're called cougrans or something like that. And they dive down to scoop them up. Stock trout only last a couple days. None of them turn native, none of them exist. After a couple of weeks. Okay, that's it. Woo, to stuff. <laughs> that's what a stock trout size is. What'd you catch on? Uh, power bait. Power bait. Treble hook, sliding sinker. As a matter of fact, this rod here, this Daiwa rod here, she won in a fishing tournament at this lake last year. Down the other side. It's a Daiwa rod and reel. Donated by Fisherman's Access in Brea. She won. She didn't win the tournament. She won this real rod. She won the tournament the year before, though. Well, there's our catch. Actually, we could have caught one more. <coughs> the limit is five, 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 five. Ruben and I have licenses, and uh, they don't need one. They're under 16. So we got 19 trout. We can actually legally go back and catch one more. Look at that. Some nice sized trout. Later, Ruben. Here's what the 2013 fishing licenses look like. Here are the new prices. Let's see. We've got the sports fishing license. What is that? $45.93. Second rod in the water, $14.04. Saltwater stamp, $5.14. Total for the year. 65.11. So 65.11 for myself. My daughter doesn't need one. 65.11 fish year, the entire year. Other uh, versus a $1,300 basic fine plus added each fish you got. It's well worth it. Okay. Um, okay. Here's what we got. So there's what we brought home. The rest we gave to Reuben. I'm gonna use the brand new Mora <laughs> for cleaning the fish. So you saw this before, this is the after, the new Mora that I got. It's been christened. Okay, you've seen the natural uh, lifespan of a trout. From the stock trout, from the stock truck, to the lake, to our line, to the frying pan, and soon to my belly.
That's one trout. And that's one trout. Two trout. Now to put the gear away. <laughs> but my first Mora. Thanks again, Mike. Michael. See you guys next one.